What's going on guys, this is Rob, and let's talk about the post credit scene of Doctor Strange 2, and by extension, talk about the future of the MCU, right? What direction things are going in here. So here's a funny thing about this. I think everybody's understanding of what causes incursions is kind of right, but also wrong at the same time. So here's the first thing, and this is the question that I imagine a lot of people have. What exactly are incursions? Okay, so we have an explanation for that in a couple different videos. The first one is over at Comics Explained, we've got a video just dedicated to explaining the incursions, which you'll find a link to in the description. But we also have the entire coverage of Jonathan Hickman's Avengers and New Avengers, uh, which you'll also find in the, the description as well, right? It's the full nine hour like breakdown of the whole thing, right? If everything from the beginning when Black Panther discovers the first incursion all the way up to the end of Secret Wars 2015. It was a huge and just phenomenal, amazing event. I loved it. Uh, I even, even to this day, I go back and read it again. But the nature of incursions are essentially that it's reality realities bumping into each other. And Earth is effectively the anchor point. And so if both Earths collide, both realities will be destroyed. But if you destroy one of the Earths, that the, the two universes will pass right through each other and nothing will happen. As we were told by John Krasinski's Reed Richards in Doctor Strange 2, that's exactly what the Doctor Strange of the Illuminati universe, Earth 838, that's what he did. That he basically invoked the power of the Darkhold and in doing so caused an incursion. And in causing an incursion, he basically destroyed the alternate reality, which killed billions of lives. And because of that, the Illuminati executed him. And so what this seems to indicate is that use of the Darkhold causes an incursion. But the question you have to ask is, why? I mean, we don't really have a lot of information about the Dark Hole that's seemingly in continuity in the MCU. There's a lot of things that involve the Dark Hole over the course of different shows and so on that have been produced under the banner of Marvel, but we don't know whether or not those are in continuity, simply because the Dark Hole actually looks different in those, those different situations. We could possibly bring those in, but the only real explanation that we have, assuming that we only go by what we've seen in the movies, is what Wong told Scarlet Witch when he said that, like, the Dark Hole is basically a copy, right? The book itself is a copy of the original text, which is in Mount Wondergore, and it was used by the first demon to ever practice black magic. This idea of the Darkhold causing incursions is seemingly confirmed by two other things. The first is when the Marvel Cinematic Universe, basically Earth 616 Stephen Strange, which that's, that's really going to get confusing when you're talking about the comics versus the movies, but that's seemingly confirmed when the main Marvel Cinematic Universe Stephen Strange meets with that alternate reality counterpart in the dissolving reality who would use the dark hold and what we were seeing in terms of that universe falling apart is the result of what happens when an incursion actually takes place we don't know how far reaching that is right we don't know uh we didn't really see an alternate earth out there in the sky not that i'm aware of it was literally just his reality falling apart but seemingly it was caused by him using the dark hold and he readily admitted it and then you also had the post credit scene where clea popped up to stephen strange and said you cause an incursion by using the dark hold like you have to you know come with me or something along those lines. And so it's kind of an interesting set of events because it seems like the dark hold causes incursions, but I'm not a hundred percent sure that's correct. I mean, we could literally just be taking two things and creating a corollary where none exists, but I think, I think incursions are a result of Loki. If I'm being honest with you guys, I mean, maybe it's not right. Maybe it really is the dark hold. I mean, from what we've seen, Everybody who uses the Darkhold seems to cause an incursion, but one of the things that was also solidified, and I feel like it flew under the radar, and I feel like a lot of people didn't necessarily notice it, that in the, the Illuminati universe, for example, what that essentially established is that in every reality, and we even saw it in the What If episode when like Thanos showed up on Earth and was destroyed by uh, by... Ultron or in the Marvel Zombies universe when he showed up and then was turned into a zombie, that in every universe across the multiverse, Thanos always goes for the Infinity Gauntlet. And essentially the events of Infinity War basically always play out. And we knew that from like Infinity War. Right When literally Doctor Strange watches or, or looks through 14 million possibilities, 14 million alternate realities, and only finds one where they succeed. And that's just the sacred timeline. That's not accounting for all the rest of the multiverse that was out there that the sacred timeline was separated from. That's something to keep in mind, is at the time of Infinity War, he who remains still existed. Right, He was still alive, so we weren't really part of the main multiverse proper, which seems to indicate that 
According to Doctor Strange, there were 14 million realities that all led to He Who Remains. But nonetheless, I digress. The important thing here is that those things always play out the same way. And so what that would seem to indicate is that if Doctor Strange looked at all these different realities and saw all these different situations where the only one in which they won is the one where basically Tony Stark had to sacrifice his life, then there had to be alternate realities out there where the Darkhold was invoked and never caused an incursion. Because you would think if that was the case that Stephen Strange would have been like, okay, we do win in some of these, but we kind of lose too because basically reality ends because of an incursion or something along those lines. But I have a hard time believing that wouldn't be a possibility that he would acknowledge, right? That he probably would have gone the way of Earth 838 Stephen Strange and said, look, we'll defeat Thanos in the present, we'll obliterate that alternate Earth, and that'll basically be it. What I think is going on here is I think you might be looking at something akin to like a coinky dink, right? A coincidence. That the incursions are not really a result of a person using the Darkhold. It looks that way, but I don't necessarily think that's the case. I think what's actually going on here is incursions are a result of the events of Loki. Now, again, I have no real evidence to support this, largely because we don't know enough about the incursions to even create any kind of reasonable argument. At this point, it's all just theories based on what we think, <laughs> you know, and what information we have in the comics. But the point that I'm making here is that in the comics, incursions happen because a singular event led to the explosion of a reality, which caused the realities next to it to bump into the realities next to them. That explosion push the realities next to them into the realities next to them and so on and so forth until basically you had the, the giant incursion event, right? The mass destruction of the multiverse. A single event is what causes that. A single event is what creates the collapse of the multiverse through incursions. Now, as far as I'm aware, when it comes to the dealings of the multiverse and a singular event that would lead to realities crashing into each other, that sounds like Loki. Right, if you guys remember at the end of the Loki TV series, that when, when He Who Remains was killed and Loki himself was sent back to the, the TVA headquarters, that when he arrived there, that basically Kang had already conquered everything. Right, Kang had taken the opportunity for the death of, of He Who Remains to essentially seize control of the sacred timeline once it had rejoined the rest of the multiverse. And all these different realities were just coming out of existence, right? You guys saw that, like just everything just, just spinning out of everything else. But it was complete and total madness. There was no organization. There was no structure. It was just all over the place. And as a result of that, literally, you saw universes crossing paths with each other, right? Just crossing over, across each other, and through each other, and all kinds of different stuff. That looks exactly the way an incursion event would happen, right? I mean, well, at least according to the MCU, the way it's done. In Marvel Comics, incursion, when it, when it came to the incursions, one of the things to know is that the multiverse is a highly intricate and organized thing. This has kind of been established over the years by different stories or somebody saying something. Something, but the best illustration of it came during Hickman's Avengers and New Avengers when Hank Pym Ant-Man was sent into the multiverse to find the source of the incursions. And the way that he explained the function, or at least the form of the multiverse, is that it was just a linear series of universes all sitting next to each other, right? Just kind of residing right next to each other, stretching on seemingly for infinity. And so again, that's the reason why those incursions worked out the way they did, pushing universes into the universes next to them. But the multiverse is organized. Look Literally, what happened at the end of Loki was the total annihilation of the organizational structure of the multiverse. If ever there were a, a literal indication of what a series of incursive events would look like, it's what we saw at the end of Loki. And even Foggy came out and said, okay, so essentially the plot of Doctor Strange 2 is a direct result of what happened with Loki. I have to believe that includes incursions. It, it includes like incursive events. Maybe the timing is just one of those things, right? Maybe it's just kind of a timing thing. Uh, because again, we don't know exactly how much time had passed. We don't know exactly what all went on with Stephen Strange in terms of his corruption, how far, how extensive his use of the Darkhold was that led to an incursion event. But I can't really think of any circumstances whereby using a book composed of black magic would create an incursion. I could see where it would violate multiversal law. I mean, what happened in Doctor Strange 2? If ever there were a time for the living tribe 
tribunal to intervene, that would be it. Because Wanda basically dreamwalking into other realities, that immediately violates like multiversal law. That's a big no-no. You're not supposed to do that. And so if the living tribunal's form and function in the Marvel Cinematic Universe matched his form and function in the comics, he would have immediately stepped in. There literally would have been no plot. Wanda would have done that for the first time, like before the movie even started, right? When you had like Stephen Strange, the, the alternate Stephen Strange and America Chavez running from the monster that was summoned by uh, Wanda, literally like the living tribunal would have wiped that thing out of existence and then it would have appeared to Wanda and said, if you do this again, I'll destroy you and your entire reality. And if she really wanted to be an idiot, she would have fought the living tribunal, which would have destroyed her. And then he would have been like, when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. What happened in that movie was just flouting magical multiversal law. <laughs> but I can't really think of how using a dark hold would create like a universal or any kind of multiversal incursive event. Uh, now, again, that's because we don't necessarily know a whole lot about the incursions. But I feel like what's going on here is more of people just not understanding what's actually going on, not fully grasping what's happening. Because that's, that's the thing, like in Hickman's Avengers and New Avengers, nobody knew what was happening right off the bat. I mean, like technically the Illuminati did, but they never told anybody. Nobody else out there knew about the incursions. Captain America did, but as soon as he objected to them wiping out whole worlds to save their universe, Doctor Strange wiped his mind and threw him out of the Illuminati. So he just, he, he never remembered anything about it. All they knew is that you literally had like, magical beings from other realities, or you had aliens from other sectors of space who were literally fleeing to Earth because it's where the most powerful people are, and it was a place of protection. Nobody really knew what was going on. And then, of course, the builders show up, and you end up learning, you know, they're there to destroy Earth because of the multiverse. But in effect, Earth superheroes were, like, the last ones to learn about the multiversal collapse. Like, they were the last ones to know that, like, Earth is the anchor point, the incursions are happening, and realities are collapsing. Like, here comes the clue train, superheroes. The last stop is you. That's literally what it was. <laughs> and so taking all that logic from the comics and applying it to the movies, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if the Illuminati's hypothesis on the incursions and the Darkhold being a source of it, that that's completely wrong. And it wouldn't surprise me if basically no one actually knows what's happening because essentially no one knows that Kang is out there and no one knows about the events of Loki. I think this whole thing would set the stage for what's going on with, uh, with Loki season two. I think that Loki season two, it'd be great if it focused heavily on like the entire incursions event and how what's going on here is a result of the death of he who remains, how Sylvie killing he who remains didn't simply just, you know, eliminate or somehow fix or correct the sacred timeline or whatever her motivation was that that motivation escapes me. Then it's actually leading to just the collapse of the multiverse. She made a big no-no, right? She did a big oopsie. <laughs> uh, again, I think that'd be cool. I, I think that's, that's really the bigger picture here. And that everybody else is just kind of wrong. They're just literally haphazard guessing or they're reading the information incorrectly. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments section, right? Do you guys think this is really what's going on here? That the dark hold is not actually the cause of the incursions. It's just people think it is. Or do you think it really is the dark hold? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section. Thank you all for watching and I will catch you all later. Peace.